Hi friends, Pastor Terry Lee here. We are Okotoks Alliance Church, and uh, these are Thursday Thoughts with Terry. Give you a couple of minutes to find me and uh, make your way in. I'm in the sanctuary here. I thought if you're uh, watching early, I wanted to show you our new camera, uh, remote controlled camera up there. Hey, Eddie. Um, and uh, hopefully you're gonna help make uh, Sunday broadcasts higher quality. And along with a couple of other cameras we've got in the sanctuary and a switcher. Uh, good to see you, Eddie. Uh, hi, Janita. Um, beautiful day here in Okotoks, south of Calgary. Just another stunning, sunny day. I'll give you a little glimpse outside. Uh, see if I not overload your camera. But uh, there's snow around, but it is just gorgeous, sunny, and lovely. I take Thursday thoughts just to uh, give you a little inter introduction to where we're going this coming Sunday as we prepare to uh, worship together. Uh, we are functioning at 15% uh, fire code capacity, which is about 74 people. Um, and um, you'd be welcome if you're in the area to join us uh, for, uh, for in-person worship. Or join us at live for live stream, uh, 11 a.m., sorry, 10 a.m. service. Uh, we go live at 9.50 a.m. on Facebook and on our website, www.okalliance.ca. Um, uh, I'd be glad to hear from you. You can just leave a note in the notes. Uh, how are you doing? Um, how is life where you are? Um, and um, we're doing well here. We're managing just fine and uh, trying to be creative and innovative in the midst of the limitations of the pandemic. And uh, one of those things is to do stuff like this, uh, live stream on, uh, on midweek uh, time slots. Um, this coming Sunday, we're in Matthew tw chapter 24. We've been there a couple of Sundays. This will be, uh, we'll move into chapter 25 next Sunday. Um, uh, but it, it, it's kind of this apocalyptic account of the end of the world. I, I wonder what your, uh, do, you ever, do you watch apocalyptic movies? I, I don't watch very many of them. Uh, they, they mess with my mind. I, I think about the storyline too long afterwards. Uh, I saw the, um, uh, the Day After Tomorrow, I think it was called, Dennis Quaid, uh, where the world's freezing over. Yeah, that was, that was wild. Um, uh, Water World with Kevin Costner, uh, where uh, uh, the world has, you know, the, the, uh, yeah, the ice caps have melted and the world has completely flooded and everything's water. Um, uh, you can leave it in the notes if you've got a favorite uh, apocalyptic movie, um, or maybe it's a not favorite apocalyptic movie that you saw and you wish you hadn't seen. I don't know. Um, but I think that's maybe the, the, the fear that, that we sometimes have around um, looking at the end times uh, with Jesus. I mean, certainly one of them is that it's a, it's, uh, there are ideas that have been abused over the years. Uh, late great planet Earth in the early 70s was uh, popularized a particular view of the end times. Uh, I, I, I don't subscribe to that view. Um, we're going to talk about that on Sunday. We're going to kind of walk through some of the sequence of the end times events that, Matthew, that uh, Jesus describes here in Matthew 24. Um, but there have been people that have gone off the deep end, you know, oh, you know, even given dates when they thought Jesus was coming. Bad idea. We're going to talk about that this Sunday, too, because, it's, you know, Jesus right here says, uh, we don't know the day. We don't know the hour. So, uh, but what, what do we know and how do we respond to what we do know? Uh, what is our responsibility as, uh, as would-be followers of Jesus? And, and in particular, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're joining us or seeing this online and you say, I, I don't, wouldn't describe myself as a follower of Jesus. And we would say, look, uh, please uh, look at Jesus really seriously because uh, the end is coming. Um, and, and apocalyptic movies aside and whatever the sort of the, uh, the hurrah would be about that, Jesus has said that he will come back for his church. And we long for you to be among us and ready so that you can participate in that. Um, uh, Jesus issues some parables uh, in Matthew chapter 25. We're going to look at one parable each of the next uh, three Sundays because each one focuses on a little different aspect um, of the message that he's giving us. And in focusing on a different aspect, it calls us to attention and to respond in slightly different ways. Uh, but, but let me just read this for you here as I, uh, I gotta set my Bible down here so I can hold it in a way that I can read it. Um, I'm in Matthew chapter 24, 4, verse 29. And Jesus says this, immediately after the distress of those days, that word distress or tribulation um, has come to mean a lot to many in the church. Um, well, what, what, is the, what are the, those days? 
And what is the distress that's being described here? We're going to look at that. Um, and, and the sum of this is going to be that Jesus continues to call us to be watchful and ready, um, that we would be responsive, uh, that we would choose to be those who are following him, uh, who are attentive to uh, the mission that he has set before us. Uh, this passage, um, uh, this, the, the Olivet Discourse, Matthew chapter 24 and 25, uh, was a, a formative passage for uh, A.B. Simpson, Albert Benjamin Simpson, the founder of the Christian and Missionary Alliance Church. We became Christian and Missionary Alliance Church because of verse 15 of, of Matthew chapter 24, um, 14, uh, where Jesus says, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Uh, A.B. Simpson looked at that and he said, look, we better get about this mission. We better get about it because that's the encouragement in the midst of all of this, in the midst of the, uh, the tricks and fears, the uh, haters and the falls that Jesus said were going to be coming along, the difficulties that are there. The mission, uh, verse 14, will prevail. Uh, and, and Simpson said, look, we got to get about this mission and, and we need to get about getting the gospel to the least reached peoples around the world. That continues to be what uh, a primary focus of the Christian and Missionary Alliance Church, primary focus of us as a church. Uh, we tithe. Everything that comes through the door, 10% um, goes back out to international work around the world. And um, uh, in what way are you involved? Uh, in what way would God stir you? I'm going to call us to pray. Uh, pray for his mission in the world. Pray for his mission globally, but pray for his mission locally as well. Um, what is he wanting to do through you? How about your friends, your family? Um, would, you, uh, would you reach out to them, firstly through prayer, and, uh, and then anticipate that God would be at work in their lives and the window of opportunity would come? Uh, maybe even if you're at a distance, uh, you need to bring a friend with us on our Alpha course, right after Easter, Thursday, April 8th, we will um, do an online Alpha course at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, and, and maybe you and a friend need to consider, who is Jesus? Why did Jesus die? How and why should I pray? How and why should I read my Bible? Who's the Holy Spirit? How am I filled with the Spirit? What about the church? Uh, what, what, how to make the most of the rest of my life? These are the topics of the Alpha Course, and, uh, and, and you and a friend, even though they're maybe remote, could join up via Zoom and be a part of an online Alpha Course. If not ours, find another one uh, through alpha.ca, I think is the website. Uh, just Google Alpha Canada, and, uh, and you'll find them. Um, I hope you can be with us this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, for worship, either in person or online, and, uh, and, and that you will dig into Scripture with us, that we will prayerfully pursue Jesus together in worship and in the Word, and uh, that in this, he is going to be shaping us and readying us, that we would be the people that he's calling us to be, ready and awake and engaged in order that we would participate uh, in and anticipate his coming. Uh, Lord Jesus, would you visit with my friends, whoever's watching online from wherever they are, uh, would you meet them and stir in them uh, a, a genuine sense of readiness that we together would be your church, ready to do your work in your way uh, in this hour that you have placed us, in this day, this time that you have placed us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that our lives are called to have deep and profound and eternal meaning because of you. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I appreciate you joining us. I hope you can be with us Sunday, www.okalliance.ca or Facebook, Okotoks Alliance Church, uh, 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. Thanks so much for joining me for uh, Thursday Thoughts with Terry. Bless you. Bye for now.